The Gospel in the Home. This is a Two Hands production for BUS, the British Union of Spiritist Societies, 2014. Introduction. This recording is meant to help and guide us towards a more balanced way of life and help us unite the family at a given moment so as to cultivate peace and harmony where otherwise there might be the occasional disagreement. In our troubled world, people often feel disturbed and sometimes even out of balance. However, a few moments of prayer together with a simple regular study of how best to live our lives gives us time to rebalance ourselves, meditate a little, and recontact our spiritual benefactors. A few minutes each week given to a sincere study of what we learned from Jesus more than 2,000 years ago will gradually allow us to realize the rationalization and logic contained in his teachings. It will bring us answers to most, if not all, of our questions regarding our suffering, the enormous differences between nations, and groupings of people and religious differences. When we come to understand and accept that reincarnation does exist, and that according to the natural law of cause and effect, we all create the causes and subsequently reap the effects, it is then that life finally begins to make sense. With the weekly study of the Gospel in the Home meeting, always on the same day and time, our hearts begin to expand and we see our present life and the world around us with fresh eyes the peace that surrounds us during the meeting, and the spiritual renewal felt with the final healing prayer, adds to the resulting new strengths and energies which will bring us more encouragement each week. That is nothing to say of the resulting calm, peace and fraternity blossoming within our family circle. See and feel for yourselves the peace and harmony that slowly begins to build up around you and members of your family. It is certainly a good reason for the children of the family who can be encouraged to participate and ask questions. Who knows, with the new generation coming to participate together with us, they may even be able to teach us a few things. The British Union of Spiritist Societies Here are the principal reasons for this study meeting. 1. When we study the Gospel according to Spiritism, we discover it is easier to understand the true meaning of life itself then we can begin to realize the need to adapt our lives accordingly. 2. The practice of the Gospel in the home each week creates a beneficial habit of evangelical study within the home. The ultimate purpose of these gatherings is to awaken and strengthen sentiments of fellowship within the family and among friends who may come to join us. 3. Through these moments of peace and tranquility each week, members of the family become more united as the teaching of Jesus come to have more meaning in our everyday existence. 4. By generating superior thoughts and sentiments within the home, this offers the possibility of receiving regular spiritual cleansing for the ambience itself, thus permitting easy access for the presence of God's messengers throughout the week. 5. In amplifying our knowledge of these moral teachings in both everyday and spiritual terms, it also gives us the possibility of passing this knowledge on to others, so they too can find more peace and tranquility in their lives. 6. Even when not all the members of a family participate in this simple meeting, the regular practice of the Gospel in the home by at least one person raises the vibratory level of the whole home. 7. It is also found that those who hold this special meeting each week are constantly accompanied by their guardian angels at all times. Therefore, whenever help is needed, these helpers are always readily at hand to protect and inspire us towards correct and beneficial action and responses. Here are considerations for realization of this simple meeting. After careful thought, choose a day and a time during the week when you and as many members of the family as possible can be present together. This day and time should be kept rigorously each week so as to assure constantly elevated spiritual assistance during the meeting and throughout the week from the spiritual benefactors. Even if you live alone or other members of the family do not wish to participate, you should hold the meeting by yourself. Having chosen a day and a time when you're able to be alone, it is also very important not to be interrupted. So choose a location in your home where you may be left in peace for at least 20 minutes. 
If there are friends or visitors present in your house at that time, they should be invited to participate. This meeting should not be postponed because of unexpected guests or visitors. However, the purpose of the meeting should be explained to visitors beforehand, so they may have the choice of attending or not. It is always suggested that friends may be invited to attend on a regular basis, until such time as they wish to hold this study meeting in their own homes. This is the procedure to be followed. 1. The Gospel in the home study may take about 20 to 30 minutes, according to the number of people present, but it should not last longer than one hour. 2. Begin the meeting with a simple, sincere and spontaneous prayer, said aloud, taking no more than two minutes. However, do remember that real prayer is a matter of sentiment, not just mere words. 3. Guidance on prayer. This should be given with uplifted thoughts towards Jesus and the good spiritual companions. Asking for protection for the home and the study, requesting the presence of the spiritual benefactors, and helping to assimilate the study so as to maintain an atmosphere of peace and fellowship throughout the meeting. Or, after the prayer, the meeting is then opened. This may be done by starting from the beginning or working systematically through the Gospel according to Spiritism each week. At the meeting, only a small portion should be read out aloud at a time, perhaps even just a paragraph. Then those present should comment on or discuss the topic presented within the time allocated. 5. Remember that comments or discussion must always be developed around the actual topic and not allowed to stray into other areas. This is a gentle study period so that we learn slowly but surely. 6. Even if we are alone for this meeting, the prayer and comments should always be read out aloud. This is because we are constantly accompanied by those on a spiritual level who can benefit from our readings and comments. 7. Let us be sure that we always look for the essence of the topics so we can learn how to apply these teachings in our daily lives. 8. If there are those present who already have some knowledge of the Spirit's teachings, ensure that they are given the opportunity to help everyone understand these more clearly. It is also important to allow beginners the time and opportunity to ask questions and discuss the answers themselves. It is a moment each week to practice harmony and unity not to show the superiority of one over another. 9. Nevertheless, it is advisable for someone to assume the task of directing this study to maintain order and progress, but always with loving kindness and friendship. 10. And finally, the closing prayer. Again, said with simplicity, sincerity and uplifted thoughts. This prayer should include positive thoughts for our planet, the many countries, the human suffering in the areas most needy, the peace and loving vibrations to envelop everyone and everything in nature. Remember also hospitals, nursing staff, doctors, and especially those who are sick. This closing prayer may take a little longer, perhaps from five to 10 minutes. It should include a brief moment of elevated silence, having first called upon the good spirits to give healing to all present. Love is the ever-powerful element, so let us also send our love upwards in gratitude and thanksgiving for the meeting, the cleansing and the blessing of the home. Here are some further suggestions. Why we need to use fluefied water. Before the meeting is begun, place a jug of water and glasses on the table. During the meeting, the spiritual benefactors will bless the water with cosmic fluid which has been scientifically proven to change the molecular structure, and this will enhance our physical and mental health. This water should then be drunk at the close of the meeting. It is also a good idea to put several bottles of water nearby in the room, which will also receive a blessing. These can be then utilized during the week, to allow a small dose of blessed water to be drunk daily by each member of the family. Correct behavior. It is strongly advised that care be taken at all times during this study to avoid all disdainful or gross language. It is a time for seriousness, so to build up strong, renewing energies that can last the whole week. Here's some advice for children. This is a study for the whole family, but also not forgetting the need for calm, 
peace and harmony to enable the meeting to be productive. Therefore, very small children and babies need to be able to be kept quiet so as not to disturb the ambience. This can mean the need to organize a meeting for when they are sleeping. Nevertheless, always encouraging them to participate as soon as it is suitable. Parents have the obligation to help their offspring towards all that is beneficial in life. This includes knowledge of the significance of life, who and what we are, where we have come from, and where we are going. Including the assistance of God as being the supreme intelligence of the universe and creator of all things. Also understanding Jesus as the governor of our planet, sending out his constant love. Nowadays, it can be often found that some children, if given the opportunity to express themselves, can teach the adults some interesting facts regarding life. So let us admit them to the study, if they're so inclined, and treat them with respect. Do remember that this is a family meeting for the purpose of studying the Spiritist teachings regarding the purpose of life. Therefore, under no circumstances should psychic faculties ever be allowed to manifest themselves during this meeting. If any member of the family has difficulty in controlling their psychic faculties, they should seek urgent help at a spiritist center where they will receive guidance, counseling and healing. Here is a special message received from the spirit world by Brazil's most well-known and renowned medium, Francisco Candido Xavier, who returned to spirit in the year 2002. He is commonly known as Chico Xavier. Christian Worship in the Home The study of the Gospel in the home is not a new idea, but today it is a necessity in every place where Christianity spreads its roots outwards, towards the attainment of perfection and sublimation. The glad tidings left the manger to go into the public square and continued on from the humble house of Simon Peter to glorification on the Pentecost. The voice of the Lord was first heard under that humble roof in Nazareth, and will certainly be echoed again through our intermediary. Before anywhere else, this will happen in the ambience of our own homes, amongst our loved ones, with whom lies our first and constant duty. When the words of Jesus resound within the four walls of a home, which is the domestic temple, our many sacrifices will weave a common happiness. Then any unfortunate observation, often uttered without thinking, is able to be received calmly. Slander becomes isolated by silence, Illness is accepted with conformity, and the errors of others are able to be understood with compassion. So then evil will no longer find cracks through which to infiltrate. It is here within this domestic paradise that some people are already building mutual stimulation for the benefit of themselves and others that becomes an inexhaustible fountain of peaceful understanding. It is where gentleness becomes a constant inspiration, and all words are then enveloped in light as they link with the love that has been bequeathed to us all by our celestial friend, then a smile will become password for each one of us. It is really only after experiencing constant evangelical study within our own homes that our hearts are truly equipped to distribute this divine bread to the multitude, which is the teaching contained in the glad tidings. Therefore, we have a duty to offer friendly advice and sanctifying counsel to all companions of the human pilgrimage, whatever their circumstances. We must never forget the necessity of applying the teaching of Jesus in our own homes. It is here that we must always show examples of patience, tolerance, understanding and fraternity, as well as those of work, faith and goodwill. We must always envelop everyone and everything in vibrations of genuine love. When we study the four Gospels, being words from heaven, constituting a testament of light, each one of us becomes the unfinished fifth Gospel, alive and operative, that we are writing with our own personal testimonies. Thus our lives may be a revelation from Christ, to be seen and appreciated by all, without the need for many words, either as warnings or as preachings. Emmanuel. This has been a Two Hands production on behalf of BUS, the British Union Spiritist Societies, narrated by Christopher Kinghorn and produced by Mark Zero, 2014. If you wish to contact us, bus.office at gmail.com or visit the BUS website, which is www.busbus.org.uk.
Thank you.